Hi, my name is Kelsey Santarosa. I'm an employee at Workforce Windsor Essex, and I am honored to be on this journey with you through our new video series on taking your job search online. Workforce Windsor Essex would like to thank the United Way, Centre of Windsor Essex, and helping us make this video series a reality. We hope that as we navigate job finding tools, resources, and information, that we can better support you, your students, and your clients. For this video, we're going to go through one of our most popular tools on the Workforce Windsor Essex website, We Map Jobs. I'm going to start off right on our homepage. At WorkforceWindsorEssex.com, you can see some of our top job finding tools right here. I'm going to click on We Map Jobs. This tool aggregates from over 44 different job posting sites to give you real time, updated daily job postings that are sorted for duplications and here displayed based on geographic location across the Windsor and Essex region. Jobs are grouped together by cluster. So each of these teal circles with a number in them show me how many jobs are available in that area. I can filter on the left hand side by type or skill preference and I can also see and add to the map which services, supports, or transportation routes may be able to support me best. If I choose to click on a cluster, it brings me closer into the region. The closer I get, the more I find out. So here, by clicking on this cluster, these here are both attached to one employer in particular. So now that I've clicked this cluster, I can click on the employer's name and that will bring me to a new page where I can learn more about the employer. It will give me their address, their industry, a link to their website, and their contact information as well. If I go back, there's also a direct link to the job post. So I can follow that to whichever job posting site it was originally put forward on and I can learn more about how to apply for that position. What else is really interesting is if I go to the left hand side and I add bus stops and routes, if I click this here, I can actually see whether or not there is a local bus route that will get me to that place of employment. The more I zoom in, the more I find out. And here I can see that there are also two stops just around the corner. Zooming out, I can also take a look at what other services may be nearby. I can find out if there are child care centers near any of these clusters of employment. And by clicking on any of those additional bubbles, I can check out their website, find out their email and their contact information, as well as find more information on how to get there, whether I'm driving, walking, or using public transit. As I scroll down, we also just want to point out that we have all of our education institutions, elementary, secondary, and post-secondary, and key services such as Employment Ontario, uh, private employment agencies, language training, Ontario Works, Service Canada, and Service Ontario. And that's not where all the information stops. If I'm looking for a particular employment in a given sector, I can filter on the left-hand side. If I'm looking for a student job, that tag is available under the quick tags, which is the first on the left-hand side. I can also search by skill types, by skill levels, and by job types. So if I am looking for something that is full-time and permanent and is in the healthcare sector, my search is narrowed down for me. If you know particularly which job type or title you're looking for, you can always search jobs by keyword. Thank you so much for watching. We hope that the information was helpful and that you stay tuned for more in this new series, Taking Your Job Search Online.